do this week's assembly on cultivating kindness as I've enjoyed watching her assemblies so much over the last few weeks. I hope you have as well. It was great to see how many of you got involved in last week's kindness challenge and there's another little challenge coming up for you to get involved in at the end. You can send them a kind message. You can give them a air hug or air high five. You can make a someone a card. You can do shopping for somebody else. You can make someone a present. You can make someone a video to make them happy. Say to people that you like their talk. Listen to one another. Help people when they're feeling sad. Make sure to smile to people. Look after animals. The internet can be an amazing tool to find out about acts of kindness happening out in the world. At this difficult time, footballers are giving out hotel rooms to help, people are taking in dogs to foster them, and there are even comedians hosting live lessons to help children like you learning at home. It's amazing to see so much kindness out in the world. Focusing on kindness is a great way to notice the kindness that is happening in the world around us that sometimes we might take for granted. Those were acts of kindness that I found looking around at the wider world, but there's also some acts of kindness happening right on our doorstep. kindness even more I've put together this month-long challenge for you. Each day from now for a whole month there is a kindness challenge for you to complete. You can send us some photos, tick off your grid, you could even make a little collage of all the things that you've been doing. We'd love to see your month of kindness. Have a great week.